The Nebraska Huskers fell to Indiana 38-31 over the weekend and dropped to 4-4 four four on the season. The Big Red will need two wins over its final four to go bowling. Sports Director Adam Kruger and Phil Bergman were in Lincoln this afternoon and have more ahead of the Huskers' road tilt against Purdue this weekend. Nebraska football team heads to Purdue this weekend. I'm Adam Kruger, joined alongside Phil Bergman. And Phil, while there was a little bit of talk about the Boilermakers, most of the talk was about the Indiana loss this past Saturday. It was a tough and a deflated loss for the Huskers, losing 38-31 to here in Lincoln to the Hoosiers. Nebraska had the Blackshirt jerseys. They were excited to show that strong defense, but they gave up 38 points to Indiana. And yes, there were two different backup quarterbacks in the game, but this was a game that the fans really wanted Nebraska to win, and the team really could have used that type of win. Yeah, Nebraska is still needing two wins to get to a bowl game, and a few of the players talked about that, how important it is to get to that bowl game, get this program on the right track, and maybe most importantly, get some more practices, especially for all the young players in the program. Yeah, the players talked about how today's practice was one of their best practices of the year. We've heard this about seven Mondays in a row that <laughs> it was their best practice of the year, so that just might be their MO for Mondays. But I think they really are looking at this loss as a way to grow and develop. This Purdue game's a winnable game. Maryland is a winnable game. Wisconsin's a tough game, Iowa's a tough game, and they have a bye game, so they have five weeks left of the regular season to start putting the pieces together, and a Monday practice is a good way to start that. You might want to be careful saying winnable game. Last year, Scott Frost yeah. said that ahead of the Purdue, Purdue game and was kind of taunted afterwards as the Huskers lost that one to the Boilermakers, but different year, different situation this time. Uh, you talked about Monday practices, how they've always been so good according to the players. Well, Darian Daniels got up there and said, yes, Mondays and Tuesdays have been good, but last week Wednesday was not good, and Wednesday is really when the Big Red focuses on third down. Scott Frost saying today that third down was absolutely terrible against the Hoosiers. The Big Red not able to get off the field against Indiana. They had a lot of problems in that Indiana game on top of just the third down. Uh, I talked to Didrick Mills today during the media availability, and he said Scott Frost kicked out the assistant coaches out of the locker room and had a Scott Frost and players only meeting where he apologized to the team for some of his comments that he's made post game and during halftime game to his teams. And it sounds like the players really bought into Coach Frost and they have maybe a new attitude heading into practice this week. Yeah, Scott Frost touched on that a little bit. Wouldn't say specifically what he said to the players, but also said said at halftime of the Indiana game, he really ripped into them for basically doing dumb things, dumb, dumb alignments, dumb assi missed assignments and whatnot, but also wanted to emphasize on Monday that it's not personal. That also said when he played for Bill Belichick and Bill Parcells, one of the first things he learned was how to take a good butt chewing. And maybe some of these Husker players need to learn how to take a butt chewing, whether they be young or old. A lot of these players have been coddled their whole lives. They've been told that they're superstars since they were about in seventh or eighth grade. And this is the first time that they've ever had to face adversity in their careers. So some of them don't handle it well. Some of them decide to transfer and some of them get back up and decide to get better. So we'll see what type of players the Huskers have on this 2019 team. Scott Frost also emphasized the togetherness of the team really helped, especially with that meeting following Monday's practice. It's Nebraska at Purdue. Saturday, starting at 11 a.m. For Phil Bergman, I'm Adam Kruger reporting from Memorial Stadium.